Hi, I'm Devin Dean, Content Director here at ProjectManager.com. There isn't a project manager on Earth where 100% of their projects have come in 100% on time. We've all been there. Occasionally, our projects deliver late. So what do you do when you're in that situation? Do you chase the white rabbit who's late for an important date? Do you panic? Or do you take things in your own hands and get back on top of the situation? I've got five simple steps that every project manager can do to get back on top of that situation, get off the back foot, and get that project returning back onto new time frames. First off, you want to get the team together. When you suspect that your project's going to be a little bit late, bring the team together, get them in a room together, and talk it out. You want to get them to own up to where things are going potentially bad, things are going really bad, or things are going and disastrously bad. Get it all out there, get a laundry list of those things that are um, still outstanding in terms of uh, risky, in, risky. Get a laundry list of those activities that are, sorry. Get a laundry list of the deliverables that are still outstanding and have a lot of risk to deliver on the time frames that are still set within the project boundaries. Within that workshop, do a quick, how did we get here? I think it's important to go back through the steps where the project team have gotten themselves into trouble. The reason why you want to do that is so they can recognize where they went wrong and they don't make the same mistake again. You want to prevent them from making that mistake twice. If you're making the same mistakes again, you're never going to get back on top of your project and you're never going to deliver to the time frames that you might reset with the stakeholders. Next, get the project team to give you some options. They're the best people at the rubber meets the road level to understand where they can perhaps reduce scope or add additional resources to try and help you get that project back on time. Listen to them, hear them out, encourage their ideas, encourage their solutions. It's only, only by getting the complete set of ideas and options that you have in front of you that you'll be able to find the right way to getting back on track. Once you've got a little how do we get here and here's how we might solve the problem, go front up. Talk to the stakeholders. Talk to the key business user, talk to the project sponsor, talk to the project owner. Definitely do those one-on-ones initially and then bring them all together in a room and talk about how you're going to get out of the crises. You're going to need their support to negotiate with the in-business users on things that can be done to be removed out of scope or additional resources to be added, for example, to help you get back on track. But it's important that you front up, take accountability for being late, and then on the next sentence, give them some ideas on things you can do to get back on schedule. Lastly, with the project team, with the stakeholders and the business units, go through some triage. Look at the list of issues. Figure out the ones that are high priority or must-haves for go live. Look at the areas where you can reduce the scope. Do that iteratively so you can come up with a new set of scope criteria and go live criteria, for example before you can reset the dates and re-baseline the project. It's important that you do reduce the scope. If you just add people or technology to try and get you back on track, nine times out of ten, that's not going to be enough to get you across the line with expected due dates. Definitely go forward in triaging and reducing the scope and then resetting the dates of your project. Once again, you're late, but it's not panic stations. The true leader is the one that gets on top of that issue gets back in front of the project team and leads them through a solution. It may not be optimal, it may, it may not be the best possible solution that your client wanted from the start of the project, but at least they're getting something across the line, at least the project's going to deliver, and it's going to start delivering return on investment once it goes live. For more whiteboard sessions and all your project management needs, come see us at projectmanager.com.